Happy Wednesday, my friends. It Yay. will be Wednesday. Currently for us, it's Monday, and it was a good day for us today. Crew, can you tell me exciting news? He's forward facing, and I think he thinks that this is just the coolest thing ever now when he gets to ride in the car, because he's like, I can actually see something. So tonight, we're excited to film for you. Whoa. Um, a little, just kind of like a combo of a bunch of things. We're gonna kind of show you a little bit of our nighttime routine and film a little Q&A while we're at it. We source some questions from our Instagram and we're currently headed to the beach for sunset. We've been working all day just on that the Monday grind, daily grind. Don't grind. Stop. What, are, what were you working on today, babe? I was editing a YouTube video. I was creating TikToks. I was adding meals to the meal plan. I was playing dad and babysitter and cleaning up a bunch of poop oh yeah we had, a massive a, blowout we had a blowout last night so we were doing laundry all day oh and i got a new surfboard minor. oh yeah just minor, minor excitement minor excitement <laughs> and today i even oh i edited and sent over a few jobs planning this youtube video out i've been watching crew making food all that good stuff. So yeah, we're gonna head to the North Shore for sunset. We've been really trying to see a lot of sunsets lately and we will show you guys how the crew, we're going to the beach. Can you say beach? Beach. Yeah, that was so close. Do you see the dogs? This empty sunscreen bottle is his favorite toy. Look at the sunset. Connor's wishing he brought his board. Oh, no. There's always tomorrow. Can you say beach? beach. Yeah. Can you say car? Yeah. Can you say mama? Mama. Can you say dada? Dada. Oh. Can you give dada a kiss? Yeah. Brent whipped up a delicious din din. I'll tell you about it. So basically, what it is is gnocchi, a dairy free Alfredo sauce, rotisserie chicken, and broccoli. It is so good. Crew, you liking it? Our house is kind of a mess, but typically, what we do is we come home from the beach for the evening if we have gone to watch the sunset, come home, make dinner after we shower off and then get crew ready for bed. Mm -hmm. So. And then we get ready for bed. And then we get ready for bed. We're the cool parents that go to bed way early. Bedtime for the, the dog and the cow are his mother. We're not his mother. I Seriously though guys, I don't know what is up with me, but I am like tired at 7 p.m. It's 7.40 and I'm like, can I go to bed? Yeah. The day gets like, it goes by so fast, but slow at the same time. Mm hmm I know, especially like with, tw I don't know, 2020 in general, I feel like it's gone by like quick and then it like also goes by super slow at the same time. Yeah. In my night routine, I've been trying to get better at flossing because the dentist, every single time I go, he's like, they're like, you need floss more. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I know. We're actually on a dentist appointment this week, too. I've canceled it <laughs> twice. I hate going to the dentist. Also, though, when was the last time you went to the dentist? You're not much better. No, yeah, for sure. But I feel like every time we have a dentist appointment coming up, you and I both are like, oh, we gotta start flossing. So they don't <sighs> tell us that we need to. Like a week before. No, but really, though, I've actually been using this. Like, it's so epic. This is Quip came out with a reusable floss picker, and it is so sick. If you haven't seen like my post on Instagram, it's literally the coolest. Go check it out because Crew is like so happy in this photo. It's the cutest thing ever. He loves brushing his teeth. We got him one of these um, Quip toothbrushes and so it like vibrates so he can brush his teeth. But this floss picker is so cool because I used to just have like the um, disposable single use floss pickers that you would just like throw away and it's just like not very eco-friendly, you know, use it once and throw it away. So this floss picker is so cool because basically, let me show you how it works, I'll do it again for you. Basically it comes in this cool cute little case that you can set on your counter so you like never forget to brush. And it has like this floss 
that you can just pull out boop, and then get at it. So like you already have your floss on here and then you just click this button and take it out and throw it away. So it's like super awesome. And I love that this thing doesn't get dirty because like you don't have to like throw it away all the time. So I love this floss picker and I actually got Connor one too so that he can be better at flossing. How's, how's it going so far? Um, I've actually used it a lot, I like it. My mouth is like full. <laughs> it's kinda of gross. Anyways. Anyways, um, we'll add this in the notes below if you guys wanna get one for yourself. So before I fall asleep for the night, um, we wanna do a quick little Q&A from some questions that we sourced from Instagram. These are just like general, I feel like we haven't done a Q&A. Have we ever done a Q&A? Yeah, right. just not like. <clears throat> not yeah. like just general like questions, so. First is, if you couldn't live in Hawaii, where would you live? Probably California or Australia. Yeah, California. <laughs> I don't know. I. That's the problem. Yeah, that's that's the struggle. See, that's your struggle. struggle. Um, how long did it take you to learn to how to surf? I'll go first because Connor's way better than me at surfing. I learned in like. Well, it depends what you mean by learn. Like, was able to get up for the first time. I got up maybe like my second or my third time, or maybe my first. I don't even remember. But as far as like getting confident enough to like go out by myself, maybe like three or four months. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm really still definitely good. learning. I feel like there's phases of things that you are learning to get better at. Like yeah. the first is like to stand up and to like paddle and all of that. But I still feel like I'm learning every time I go, even though I love He's to go. He's so good though. Like I'm, Coco like, just I'm, like, I was learning like this and Connor just went like shot way back <laughs> in now. When he surfs with me, he's like, I wish I brought my surfboard, my what? shortboard. And I'm like, sad. What? He's just way better than me now. That's the gist. What sports do you hope crew plays? I would love it if he played basketball. We've always said, because Connor grew up playing basketball and I grew up playing soccer, so we always said it would be fun if our girls played soccer and our boys played basketball. But obviously, and we would be he stoked. Must surf. <laughs> we'll be stoked with whatever he wants to do. Yeah. What is your favorite thing to make for dinner? Well, the <sighs> easiest go to that I always okay. do is ground beef tacos. That's like my favorite. I grew up on that and I love it. Britt doesn't as much. Ground beef tacos were never my favorite, but I have learned to like them, especially how Connor makes them. They're actually really good. Um, but my favorite thing, I do really, really, really like gnocchi, but I also love all bowls. That's not dinner, dinner though. What? That's not dinner. That's just a snack slash like. Oh, pause. This uh, vegan lasagna we we make. Oh, that's yeah, that's like pretty good. Probably one of my favorites. That one's really good. Or like enchiladas, like those sweet potato enchiladas we make. Or like lately I've been on an enchilada kick with like green chicken chili. It's so good. But lately, I'm not going to lie, I've not been into chicken. For me lately, I don't know why. So that's just me. So I've kind of been avoiding chicken lately. How often do you work out? Well, I like to work out Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday, I just like to like kind of take it easy, go on a walk or surf or something like that. But working out, like when when I say Monday through Friday, I mean like going to the gym and like lifting weights and or doing PT, like something like that. And Connor's been killing it with working out. Like, so proud of you, baby. <laughs> Show me muscles. Give him a flex. <laughs> <sighs> he really has been going Monday through Saturday. Like, he's even past me. It used to be the other way around. It did. Let us know in the comments if you're an OG and you remember when Coco hated working out. I, I have hated it in the past. I'm so proud of him. It makes me so, yeah. so proud. What do you feel was the most special moment of your relationship thus far? I'll let Connor answer and then I'll go. I would say the moment Crew was born hey, was, that's was, what I was gonna say. pretty, pretty special. That was unforgettable. Coco moment. may not, may or may not have cried tonight putting Crew down. I did. It was, he's just, just a big blessing. 
with work and stuff, how do you guys make time for each other? It's so hard. Um, I would say like we try and have a date night every Friday. Date night. Put it on the calendar so Coco knows it's happening. <laughs> but we try and do date night or like at nighttime every night we try and go watch the sunset or just do something together but yes it is hard because we are working like all day and if we're not working we're watching crew so the other person can work and we're always talking about it mm -hmm. it's like full-on life consuming your favorite holiday i Robbie. love this question whoever asks this question is just showing my vibe i love the holidays um depends what holiday but christmas for me yeah favorite i don't even know if i can pick favorite i grew up in utah and in like the capital of utah they have this big like light show kind of thing like where they put lights on all the trees um and it's called temple square and they put lights like on all the trees and you can like walk around and that was a favorite t tradition of mine growing up was to go see all the christmas lights every year but i don't know Growing up, like when I was young, young, I loved when Santa would come, like just running downstairs in the morning, like in a line with my brothers. Santa, Santa, Santa. I'm so stoked for crew to know Santa. I loved like lining up with my brothers and like walking down and seeing what Santa brought you. Now, I don't know. I love every tradition. I can't think of just one. Yeah, Britt does love them all. <laughs> every holiday, so pumped for. I want to know your favorite holiday traditions. I love knowing all those, yeah. so drop them below. Okay, friends, it's been almost three months, right? I chose this question because I think it's actually really good to update you guys what's going on. So this this girl is so nice. She remembered it's been three months um, since my brother passed away. And she said, how have you been and how is your fam? And I think that was so sweet. Overall, we're so grateful and feel so um, supported by like everybody around us. And we're just so grateful, especially for this community, for you guys always like reaching out and asking how I am or how we are or like how we're healing, giving words of advice. So know that we love you guys all, but just in general, I would say I've been kind of trying to figure out how to like answer this question lately because people ask like, how are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know, like some days it's really, really hard and some days are not as hard. So I think it just totally depends on the day and today was a good day. Today I felt really good. Um, but like it, de there definitely are like really, really hard moments and really hard days. And I think that's just gonna kind of be like working through those things and um, trying not to ask like the why questions instead just trying to like, um, accept it and kind of move forward and as far as my family i think they're all doing um the same i would say everybody heals and like grieves differently so just been kind of trying to figure out like how we can help each other and yeah so i say thank you guys for asking thanks for watching <laughs> i'm just so excited about christmas now after talking about all the christmas traditions i need to put up all of our decorations <laughs> but um thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to our channel and to like this video if you liked it and you want to see more because truly i know i've said it a million times but it helps us out so much and we're so grateful for you guys and if you haven't yet follow us on instagram and our tiktok um we just would love to have you in all of those places we're always creating good content for you guys there and we love you guys have a good Bye. week